Welcome to all, myself, Professor Deshmukh MS, going to present the theory lectures on the frequency measuring instrument. So, what should be the frequency measuring instrument is there? So, we have to consider some things, that is the expected range of the frequency and amplitude, uh, some of the size of the machine or structure that during the involvement. Then again, what are the conditions of the operations of the machines or other structures and type of data for the processing? use means what these are the factors that we have to consider during the frequency measuring instrument then again vibration measuring instrument frequency of the vibration that you have to measure means what this is vibration measuring instrument so which measure uh, the some parameter uh, rather than the frequency also so displacement velocity and acceleration of the vibrating body that is known as what vibration measuring instrument so means what these are the parameter that you have to use uh, to find out from that we have to predict the uh, the range of the uh, vibrations or intensity of vibration we can say that so vibration measuring devices having the mass spring dashboard we can say that spring mass system and it is also known as what the seismic instrument ok generally it is used for the earthquake uh, conditions means for seismic ok so that is the earthquake conditions so the quantity to be measured that we have to display on the screen and it is in the form of electric signal from that signal uh, we can predict the what kind of the uh, nature of the system either it is vibrating or not vibrating or the, it is a, it in the uh, required condition or not so which can be readily amplified or recorded means what out of the electric signal again it will be amplified means of the uh, by means of the amplifier uh, recorded means by means of the recorder the output of the signal instrument will be proportional to the quantity to be measured so what kind of quantity uh, we are measuring either displacement velocity acceleration from that proportion we got the we got the output signal so what are the types of uh, instrument is available that is absolute instrument uh, what exactly in the absolute instrument it determines the magnitude of the quantity to be measured in terms of the, the instrument parameters so just like here uh, because of uh, each and every time the value of the system so we have to calculate the magnitude of the measuring quantity and again analytically which will be uh, the time consuming so uh, one of the example there we are uh, given that is a tangent galvanometer and this type of instrument is generally used in the laboratory use only now the second that is a, the uh, we can say second instrument so what exactly it is there? So value of quantity is measured directly. Generally, uh, the instrument calibrate by comparing with the another standard secondary instrument. So uh, by means of the added conditions, we have to compare. Uh, we got the some uh, the readings. The example is a voltmeter, ammeter, and the wattmeter. So these are the examples of the secondary instrument. Again, practically, the secondary instrument suitable for the measurement. Now again the one of the uh, practical instrument that is uh, known as what vibrometer. So what exactly in the vibrometer? Look at the graph is shown here. The accelerometer and versus omega square upon omega. That means of the angular velocity. We can say that. So velocity uh, and the, it is called as again the vibrometer or the velometer because of the, the velocity is measured by means of this. So the formulations we are given omega upon omega n is equal to r with the equation sum is given to you so character uh, sticks curve is shown here so that can be large value of omega upon omega n that is equal to r z upon d is on the uh, your y axis and omega square upon omega n that is equal to r omega upon omega n is equal to r in the x direction so approaching to toward the unity for the every value of damping uh, what kind of graph we are got in the, the case of these uh, accelerations so in the case of the accelerations again it is measure the accelerations quantity so naturally frequency n of the instrument is very high as compared to the frequency and during this case the ratio of omega n upon omega n is very small so it is negligible or it is very less less than the one so the range of the instrument is shown in figure and uh, the natural frequency measured by means of the accelerometer is very high and is very light in contractions so this is one of the features of the accelerometer 
Now this is one of the uh, schematic diagram, the accelerometer which contain the mass, the damper, stiffness, some object we are placed and uh, some distance why it travel in the y direction. So because of its a small size, uh, it is a very usefulness and determine the velocity and accelerations. Uh, besides the acceleration means what? From the acceleration we are again measuring the velocity and acceleration. So a voltage signal is directly proportional to the that particular accelerations. Now again, Fulton tachometer, these are again used for the measuring the frequency. It's quite easier one, one of the, uh, the vertical extensions uh, with the horizontal, uh, uh, the rod we can say that at the rod we are one end, we are attaching the mass with the uh, distance L from its center, at the top that we are attaching the screw and with the vibrations there is something deflection of this uh, this rod and because of that deflection we got something idea about the frequency so this is all about your uh, frequency phenomena